CPA 212, Principles of Accounting 2. Today I'm going to walk you through how to get started in the course. So first thing, uh, what book do you use for the course and, and what do you need for the course? You're, you're going to need uh, the textbook that's listed on the syllabus. You're also going to need the McGraw-Hill Connect access code. A lot of students, uh, if you've taken the course in, in a um, in the previous term, you may already have the Connect access code. If you do, you're going to be able to use it all year long. If you don't have an access code yet, you can get the access code. It's going to you can be able to buy the code. It's going to be uh, one that you can use for this term and next term if you're going to be taking the course into next term. The access code also has an ebook with it. You may want to either to go with the ebook or, or use a hard copy of the textbook. A lot of students like the hard copy in addition to the ebook as you go through the course. So it's really up to you and uh, just know that you have options. The course schedule, another thing you need to know as you get begin, as you begin the course is that the uh, homework assignments and the quizzes for this course are going to be uh, prerequisites to one another. Okay, so the way that works is uh, the actual order of work is going to be like this. Let me show you here. If I'm going to coursework here in Blackboard, I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, chapter assignments. But first, I want to just show you that we do have an introduce yourself discussion thread. That's going to be the first thing you're going to want to do. You go, in, go ahead and go into coursework. Go ahead and do the introduction, self-introduction there. That's just a quick thing you can fill out. Uh, it, it'll have a couple points attached to it. Uh, especially if you're new to the course, I haven't had you for a course, fill that one out, get the, get the few extra points, and then move on to the chapter assignments. So here's chapter assignments. We're gonna have eight chapters in uh, that we're gonna study this term, starting with chapter 10. Chapter 10, uh, the way that the assignments are laid out, there is a, an every chapter folder, there's going to be uh, the first item is going to be an interactive presentation extra credit assignment. You can do this or you don't have to do it. Uh, you can try it out, see what it, how much time it takes you, if it really helps you in the course. A lot of students said that these interactive presentations are really helpful. So if you're definitely having problems with a chapter, you, you may want to do this, get some extra credit, get some extra help to get uh, going on on the assignment. Next thing, smart book. Uh, learn smart reading assignments. These are study assignments. These, this is part of the course. You're going to want to do this uh, before you begin the homework and quiz uh, sections of, of the assignment set. This is going to help you build your vocabulary, understand all the concepts in the chapter, and in an interactive way. If you finish this, you're always going to have 100% for that uh, assignment. So just finish it out, get all of the things done there that you need to get done. Um, for the Learn Smart assignments. There's a tutorial, if you haven't ever done these before, when you begin it, it'll show you a tutorial on how to finish the assignment, so make sure to go through that as well. One note, the Smart Book Learn Smart assignments actually have due dates. Okay, it's gonna be the, the Saturday at midnight of every, of every week, okay? So for, for the chapter that we're gonna cover, let me show you this real quick. Here's the uh, term schedule, right? So for week one, we're going to cover chapter 10. On that Saturday at midnight, your Learn Smart is going to be due. So if you haven't done it before that time, you're not going to be able to do it. You'll get a zero for that. Okay? So make sure that you're staying up with the course. There's only uh, a few weeks out of the term where you don't have a Learn Smart due, right? So there's eight Learn Smarts. Week five is going to be a catch-up week. You're not gonna have a Learn Smart due that week. You can go ahead and do one ahead of time and get it done early, but um, you're not gonna have one due that week. Also, uh, weeks 10 and 11, those are catch up uh, project weeks, and you're not gonna have a Learn Smart due that time. Basically, the last Learn Smart is gonna be due at the Saturday of week nine. That's gonna be the last Learn Smart. Uh, Learn Smarts are not a part of the prerequisite structure, meaning that if you don't get your Learn Smart done, you can still move on to the homework. Homework is the beginning of the prerequisite structure, so you have to do the homework first. After the homework, you can do the quiz. There's going to be 
uh, let me show you here on the start here menu so you can kind of see right here there's going to be four exams two chapters per exam so in order to take exam one you're going to have to have all the homework and all the quizzes done for chapters 10 and 11 then you'll be able to sit for exam one the homework and the quizzes have to be done uh, to at least the 75% standard, right? So you have to get 75% of all content correct in the homework and quizzes to be able to do the exams. You can redo the homework and quizzes as many times as you want to get as high a score as you, as you want in that. You have to get at least a 75 to be able to move on to the exams. The exams, each of these exam structures, exam one, exam two, exam three, four, they're their own little prerequisite blocks. So if you don't quite get, like for example, the exam one, if you don't get exam one to a 75%, it doesn't matter. You can move on and keep going on exam two structure. So the exams do not have the points or the percentage requirement to keep moving with the course. So if you don't do at least a 75% or don't do as well as you should, I mean, you could get a zero on an exam, for example, and still be able to move on to the next uh, section. I wouldn't suggest that. If you get a zero or a really low score, uh, we, we may want to look at that again and, and try it again. You have three attempts for every exam. So your first initial attempt and then two retakes. So just so you know for the exams on that. So anyways, that's going to be the exam structure and some uh, some information about the schedule. You're also going to have this term. You're going to have a term project. So that's in the uh, coursework folder, term project. End of week 10 is when the uh, term project is due. And there's a video on it. I'm also going to put, I, I'm going to have some example of some good projects from previous students that you can look at and, and use in, as, as an example. Anytime on any of this stuff for this course, definitely contact me, email me, call me up, come to my office, ask for help on anything that you have problems with. The worst thing you can do is is kind of suffer in and not knowing how to do something, right? So get all the resources online. If they're not going to help you with this course, contact me. Don't waste time. So and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and we can set up either a virtual office meeting or we can talk over the phone or we can shoot emails back and forth. I can definitely help you out. I have access to all your work so I know where you're at. I know what incorrect problem, uh, work that you've done so far and I, uh, I have the answers. I can help you out. I can help you move forward and under, help you understand how to do it. So we'll talk to you later. Hopefully this uh, term will be a wonderful one and you'll be, uh, I know you'll be glad at the end of the term after all your work that you took the course. So we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.